Mitchell and I'm here at the Edible Schoolyard Garden in the Greensboro Children's Museum. I'm here with my friend Alice the cat and today we are going to be learning about leaves. Leaves are a very important part of a plant and you can look at a leaf and it'll help you figure out what kind of plant it is. I really love learning the names of different plants because then when I'm taking a walk, I might recognize some. And it's kind of like meeting an old friend. Oh, hello, Mr. Potato. How are you today? So we'll learn about some different parts of a leaf that you can notice. We'll use our sense of sight, smell, and touch to learn more about leaves. Then I'll show you a cool art project that I really like to do to take leaves home with me. Let's check out this leaf. This is a cool leaf because it has a bunch of mini leaves as part of it. So we can count this one leaf has one, two, three, four, five little leaflets. And all together they make up one leaf. If we look really closely, we can see that the edge of the leaf isn't smooth. It has little bumps that look kind of like the teeth of a saw blade. We call this kind of leaf edge serrated, like a serrated knife that your grown-up might use to cut bread. I can feel that it's smooth and it dips in a little bit in that leaf vein. This is the leaf of a rose bush. We learned that rose petals are edible in the blog post we put on the GCM website yesterday. And if we move over a little bit, we can see the beautiful flowers. Here's a little teeny plant growing along the ground. What do you notice about these leaves? <laughs> I notice they're blowing in the wind, but if you look carefully, this leaf is divided into three different parts. Each part looks like a perfect heart, and they all meet in the middle. This is the leaf of an oxalis or wood sorrel plant. It's one of the ones mentioned in our blog post that got posted yesterday. It's edible and it tastes kind of sour like a lemon. Here's another plant. Let's check out these leaves. Ooh, I notice it's kind of a pale color, a little more gray than other leaves. When I feel it, it's soft, but it has little teeny bumps on it. And I can see that the edge of the leaf is nice and smooth and doesn't have the teeth like the rose leaf. This is the leaf of an herb called sage. It's used in cooking and it has a really nice smell. I, the way I like to smell a leaf is I rub it with my fingers and then I smell my hand. And then you can tell what the leaf smells like. Here's another plant that we learned about in our blog post from yesterday. Look at this leaf. Instead of being like a smooth oval or egg or circle shape, this one has a bunch of different parts coming off of the center. We call these lobes, like an earlobe. It's a long skinny leaf and it has almost like an arrowhead point. I am feeling it and it's a little bit rough. I think it has these tiny little hairs on it that make it feel a little rougher. Do you know what leaf this plant belongs to? I'll show you the flower and maybe you can guess. It's a dandelion. Dandelion leaves are edible. They're best when they're cooked and when they're young and the flowers are edible too. It's best to eat them right after they open up when they're little and still fresh. Here is a big patch of chickweed. It's another one of our edible weeds. This has small leaves. 
Let's look at this. You can see the flower buds and the leaves are little. They're smaller than my fingertip. One thing to notice when you're trying to identify a plant is how the leaves are attached to the stem. We can see right here that we have two leaves coming off of the same point of the stem. Those are called opposite leaves because they're opposite of each other. That's a good way to help you identify chickweed. It has two leaves that always come out of the same point on the stem. Here's an example of a plant where the leaves don't come out of the same point opposite each other. You can see on this branch that we have a leaf coming out on this side, and then we go all the way down here to find another leaf. When leaves come out of different points on a stem, usually on opposite sides of each other, we call that alternate leaves. These are the leaves of a mulberry bush. And you can see, kind of like the dandelion, there are different lobes. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and kind of six. Mulberry leaves are interesting because they can come in all different shapes with lots of different numbers of lobes. Here's a leaf that has one, two, three lobes. Here's another leaf that doesn't have any lobes at all. And here we can see the berries that are starting to ripen. These will turn a nice deep purple shade and they look almost like a blackberry on a tree. They are edible and they are sweet and juicy. You might be able to find this tree in your neighborhood. Maybe while you're exploring and observing leaves, you'll find one that is super beautiful and inspires you to make an art project. Here's one that I like to do with leaves. It's called making a leaf rubbing. All you need is crayons, a leaf, some paper. Sometimes tape can help too, and it's good to have a nice flat surface for you to work on. I like to use crayons that are maybe broken and have the label taken off. That makes it really easy to do the leaf rubbing. So you lay your leaf flat. I like to put the bottom side up so that you can see the veins really nicely. And then you put your paper on top of the leaf and hold it in place. You don't want it to move around while you're rubbing. Then you put your crayon on its side and start to rub over where the leaf is. You can see the first thing that showed up is the middle vein. You can rub along the sides. And now we start to see the leaf edge. Keep rubbing until you see all the details that you want to see. Ooh, I like how that's looking. You can also mix in different colors. I'm gonna add some green to mine. There you go. Now you have a leaf rubbing. Thanks so much for joining me today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed learning about all the little details that you can notice in a leaf. And I hope that you decide to make a leaf rubbing of your own. If you do, post it on our Facebook so we can see it. And don't forget to tune in on Monday at four o'clock for story time with my friend Heather. Thanks for joining me on Growing Up Green. Bye.